I am still sitting here thinking about the moment at the end of the game where you felt killer instinct, where Josh Allen said, it's fourth down and I'm going to get this. I am going to score. Where Josh Allen absolutely trucks people on the way and where Josh Allen gets himself into the end zone, throws the ball down, flexes in this way, and you just felt it, man. I know it was only a regular season game, Frank, and we usually shoot the shot coming in, but I'm still so worked up over the fact that we saw Buffalo go in and just manhandle the moment in a way that has me finally feeling like they are built to be able to take down the Chiefs in the playoffs. Great game. Fun game. Uh, a very interesting way for the Chiefs to lose their unbeaten streak. Because, I mean, if you think about the Chiefs and all the ways they won these games, they're sitting there 9-0, and feeling pretty good. You lose one game, and all of a sudden you're like, wow, the Bills are a game behind us now in the standings, a loss in the loss column. And they have the tiebreaker and probably the easier schedule the rest of the way. So this game, that play in, uh, specifically, might change the entire AFC playoff picture. We could look back at that game in January and say this is why the Bills are got, have the bye and the number one seed. And the Kansas City is probably going to go there and beat them in the playoffs anyway because that's what they do. But, but this was a kind of earth-shaking moment for the AFC in the playoff picture. All the other teams in the AFC now see the Chiefs' vulnerabilities. It gives them a chance, at least in their minds, to maybe knock them off, which they couldn't do last year. I thought, not just the play itself by Josh Allen, but let's go back a step. It's I thought they were going to kick a field goal. I really Me did. Too. I, I, Me too. I thought that I thought that you know I understood going for it, but I was like, okay, you're going to take the points here, make them drive the whole length of the field, score a touchdown. You don't want to just give them a shot at the field goal. But I think if you go back to what I've harped upon from two weeks ago, when Todd Bowles didn't go for two. Sean McDermott had the mentality of we have to slay the dragon right now. It's it's got it's now or never. We're we are not going to just kick a field goal and say, here's the ball, Patrick Mahomes, go and beat us with a touchdown. Because you know what? He probably would have. He's Patrick Mahomes. The Bills went for it in that situation, which I, I thought was very bold. And looking back, probably the right call. I understand it completely. And then Josh Allen just makes the superhero play. Like it was fantastic to watch him do that. And it just makes things more interesting. Instead, instead of the Bills being basically three games behind the Chiefs and not having a tiebreaker, all of a sudden the Bills are right there on their tails. The Pittsburgh is too. We're going to talk about them. It, it, it opens up the AFC a lot. Whereas you just keep thinking like, oh, the, the Chiefs are inevitable. This is just going to happen. Now all of a sudden we've seen them lose. They didn't look particularly great in this game. And I don't think they've looked particularly great all season. They Yes, they keep winning games. They're great for them. And, and that's the name of the game. But we knew that they were beatable. This wasn't one of those, are the 2007 Patriots ever going to lose type of teams. This was like, yeah, they're, they're going to lose sometime. It's probably going to be a Buffalo because they're a really tough team. But I think this just, it gives the Bills some confidence. It gives them some momentum. But now they got to go take it. The Bills can't, look, they've had, you know, seasons in the past where they have games. I remember, you know, losing to Urban Meyer Jaguars and stuff where you're just like, boy, if you could just have that game back, you, you would have been such better shape come playoff time. The Bills have to go take it now. They, I'm not saying they got to win out and go 15 and two to get the number one seed, but maybe like you don't want to let this opportunity slip. You have a real chance to get the one seed, be two home games away from a Super Bowl if you're Buffalo. That's what this game meant. I, I thought this this changes the entire scope of the NFL season. That one fourth down run from Dr Josh Allen. It was thrilling. It was awesome. It was it was just a really really fun game. Look, I'll admit I'm an idiot. I didn't think they should go for it. I, I looked at it and said, look, I understand. I didn't either, honestly. I, 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 I was I sitting there like, I don't know. But then I get it. Like, you you, you look back, right? And you say, yeah, that, that's what you got to do to beat the Chiefs. you got to land a knockout blow. You can't just expect to go to the judge's scorecard, right? you got to knock them out. I feel that, but also I felt like I was kind of prepping our lead coming into the show, and I was like, well, we'll be talking about how stupid it is to not take points against Patrick Mahomes. Like, you're, you're letting him beat you with the field goal instead of making him drive down the field. But I think to me, it wasn't just that, and, and yes, you're right, Sean McDermott made it clear that they needed to slay the dragon. It was also, and this is so easy to say and rare to do, the dragon slayer was clear. It had to be Josh Allen. And they did what you're supposed mm -hmm. to do in these situations every time. You put the ball in your best player's hands. And, you know, we're going to talk about Pittsburgh, but let's be honest. With the two-point conversion on the line, they put the ball in Lamar's hands and there was nowhere to go. In this situation, they put the ball in Josh Allen's hands in the way that let him drop back and then in the way that let him make a real decision on what to do with it. And once he decided he wasn't going down, there wasn't a damn thing that Kansas City could do about it. And that's a great Kansas City defense that 
wasn't ready. They just didn't have a way to pull him down because frankly, you saw who wanted it more. And when you see that version of the Dragon Slayer, man, that's why it feels different to me because the Dragon Slayer was Josh Allen. And the Dragon Slayer to me definitely looks like that sort of guy that's like, now he's got that extra swagger. He's got that extra kick. He knows he can do what he had to do to beat this Kansas City team. I, I think this is huge. And look, we could sit here and say what can't what Buffalo needs to do for the remainder of the season. For today, for right now, for tonight, when they go into Victory Monday, they clearly turned around and said, guess what? We are capable of being the Super Bowl champions. Yeah. Like that, they yeah, made that statement. And and not only that, Fitz, I, I think you'll agree with me on this. I don't think this was the Bills' best game. I don't think no, we, no. I don't come out of this game going, well, wow, like the like Josh Allen threw for 400 yards of five touchdowns and the defense, blah, blah, blah. I thought they played like a B, B minus type of game. Like I, I didn't think they were great in this game. And that that almost gives me more confidence in the Bills that they have a gear beyond this. This wasn't like we just had a, a day, like a day we're never going to be able to replicate and we knocked off the Chiefs. Now we're going to get into January and we can't replicate that and Tyler Bass is going to miss wide right. We're going to lose. No, I feel like if they, if they meet up again, and I think they will meet up again, I, I think we're going to get Chiefs-Bills rematch in the playoffs somehow. Mm. I think when they meet up again, the Bills can play better than this. And, and, and that's got to give Buffalo a lot of confidence to say, look, we just beat Kansas City without playing like out of our minds, like we usually have to do to beat Kansas City. We just played a good, solid game, got a couple key plays when we needed them. It's, the defense came up huge a couple of times. Josh Allen, obviously, that, that big play. But I feel like the Bills were good, not great, and they still beat Kansas City. And, and so, like you said, that's big for them. At some level, too, like it's like a reality show, surviving Mahomes. Like, because you just yeah. felt like so many times in the course of this game, Mahomes is running around. They finally commit to try and take him down. He flicks the ball. You feel like it's just going to turn into something big. You know, there were so many close moments in this where it felt like Kansas City was on the precipice of finding a way to win. I think we all sat there and said, well, the Chiefs are going to figure out a way to win this football game. And even on the broadcast, it was just making me vomit at one point when, you know, you're down by nine with a, a minute to go. And say, well, I'm not going to count this guy out. Like, OK, we yeah, all need this yeah. reminder over and over. Give us some analysis on why it was terrible. But. But I do think that there's an element of relief because I think the Bills looked a little tight at times in this game. I thought the Bills looked like they were a little they, – they know what's up against them. They They know their issues with the Chiefs. They understand all of this. I felt like that was the sigh of relief that happened at the end of this. And, Frank, I don't even feel like – like if they played 10 times out of 10 – I, I don't feel like I'd see a different result necessarily. Like the, the the Bills are a better football team right now than Kansas City. And it took everything to find a way to beat Mahomes, but they are the better, the better team won this game. The better team uh, came out the victor and the better team I think would win this game if they played again. This was a big statement for Buffalo in that sense. That's very strong. I, I don't know that I'm quite there to say the Bills are clearly the come with team. Me. Look, the Chiefs come with me. Come with me. <laughs> Look, the Chiefs were nine and zero for a reason. They're still the Chiefs. They yeah, play this game at Arrowhead. It goes a different way, right? Buffalo, but that's that's part of this equation too. Home field advantage is so huge for Buffalo. Not that they couldn't go to Arrowhead and win. We we remember the thirteen seconds game. They should have won that one. They they kind of blew it. But to just be at home for that game, it didn't work out last January. I get that. But I think there's such a big difference that you want every advantage you can against Mahomes and the Chiefs in the playoffs. And getting home field advantage would be huge for them. And getting the extra week of rest and and all this kind of stuff. And the Bills weren't going to do that if they lose today. So I, the question of who is the better team, who's the best team in the AFC, I still lean Chiefs, honestly. But I, I saw today, you know, it's it's way more of a coin flip than it was before today when he said, hey, yeah, the Bills can beat them. Again, they didn't play their best game. I, didn't, I don't think still won the game, and they can do it again in January. Doesn't mean they will. They haven't yet. Nobody can knock out Mahomes in January and uh, Andy Reid and all them, right? But this gives you a little more hope that this AFC is uh, going to be a lot more wide open than just, hey, the Chiefs are going to cruise to another AFC championship and another Super Bowl. The Bills have the 49ers, Rams, uh, teams they should beat, the Patriots twice, and the Jets. But they do have the Lions left. So obviously that would be a particularly tough game for them. They're one game behind the Chiefs. The Chiefs, if you're looking at it, are about to have just chef's kiss here. They got the Panthers, Raiders. Then they have the Chargers, good team, <laughs> Browns, uh, Texans, Steelers. So there are some tough games left yeah. ahead of Kansas City as well. We'll see how that plays out.